Hey guys, this is going to be another video in my Nomad Sculpt Basics tutorial series. And today I'm going to show you all how to use the different sculpting brushes and tools like that. And I'm also going to show you how to make your own custom brushes and textures. Because that is super important to my workflow, super helpful. And hopefully it will be helpful to you. Bye. So going over the different sculpting brushes, a little bit of a basic of what they do. So uh, the most common ones that I use are going to be the clay which is going to add a material to your sculpt. The smooth, which is a little bit self-explanatory, helps smooth out when you add all those bumps, makes it look really nice. The brush acts similarly to the clay, but I tend to prefer the clay a little bit more. I tend to get a little bit more precision with the clay than with the brush. So that's those ones. The move and drag are like the bread and butter of my sculpting. This, I, these guys I use um, for every single sculpt when I'm kind of getting in my basic body shapes. They both behave slightly differently, but kind of can get you to the same result, same general idea. Another one I use a lot for smaller details is the crease tool like this, which you can invert it or have it going in both of those directions. Another one I use a lot is the inflate. I actually use the inflate inverted more than I do non-inverted. So I use this a lot for eye sockets or noses or ears, things like that. If I make it to where it's not inverted, it adds a lot of material very quickly is what this is good for. So those are the ones that I use most commonly. Also the flatten. I use often as well. If I have a weird crease somewhere, say that I don't want there, then I can do the fill and it fills in that crease there nicely. Or I can do make it not inverted and then that will go over that like that. Those are the ones I use most often. I recommend going through all the tools in Nomad Sculpt, all the brushes, and just playing around with what each of them do. Um, that's how I got used to all of them, kind of figure out which type of brush I needed for different things. Um, that's how you get the most familiar with them, figure out what works best for your workflow. And then I use all of these are custom brushes that I created for my different textures, different effects and things that I wanted. So like, you know, this is my fur and grassy kind of texture. I got some spikes there. We have, let's, subdivide this to give me more triangles to work with. Those are my bricks, you know, and my cobblestones, things like that. So the way that you make custom brushes is, first of all, I want to pick a brush function out of the basic ones that functions the way that I want my new brush texture to work. Because sometimes I want, you know, this repeating pattern like that. Sometimes I want to be able to pull out these textures like that. And sometimes I want it to just lay on top of my sculpt. So different functions, once you get used to and learn how these work, then you can figure out and play around with which type of texture brush do you want to make. So first I'll figure that out. Then you tap that brush. I'm gonna hit clone. It's gonna add that down here. So at first it's just gonna look like an exact copy of that basic brush. But then you're gonna go up here this little triangle. I'm going to go to alpha. So the way these brushes work is you have these what are called alphas, which are basically just these black and white silhouettes, which you pick and then it's going to make that texture. Like let's grab the coin one we have here. Let's edit our brush settings so that our stroke has more space. You can play around with all of those. And then we get this cool little coin texture out here. So the way you can get these alphas to import into here, first of all, that's how you import the new ones. You're going to go to your files or photos. But you can either grab these from like Procreate brush sets or Photoshop brush sets. Most of the 2D art programs use the same type of silhouettes that the 3D does here. You know, they just, they're just they just going to function a little bit differently, so you're going to adjust them a little bit differently. But those same basic textures and shapes are going to be the same. So you can also go 
Say you go into Procreate here. Let's do a black canvas and then grab a white brush. And then we can grab, say we wanna do this little sparkly texture. That'll give us all those little dots and texture. Make sure that your texture doesn't go off the grid unless you're wanting a brush that's gonna grid and line up within itself. I like to do my textures where they're self-contained and then I can adjust the overlap and all that within the sculpting brush settings. And so then you have a lot of options to work with, of all sorts of different sculpting textures that you can add using your 2D art programs, things like that at your disposal. So that is how I make all of these custom texture brushes is with the 2D uh, imported images and adjusting how I want them to flow. So yeah, those are kind of the most important brush tools that I use. Hopefully this is helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you later.